Oh, Sweden. Such a wonderful place. I remember going there as a young boy with my parents. Such fond memories. Crawling on the roofs, splashing through the waters. Much simpler times. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't, I don't, hey, what's going on everybody? Grizzly Bear here. And today we're going to be talking about some maps. The new map workshop has just been released. So I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite maps, starting with this one right here. Sweden. This is the arena version. And let me just say, it is a beautiful map. You cannot take a bad shot with this map. It's just impossible. The creator, Ali, did a great job creating this map and this theme along with the help of eArkham. They did a great job. If you are into mapping, if you want to get into mapping, you want to make a map like this, they have released all of the assets, all the models, the textures, everything they used to create this map is available to the public. So that's really cool. So huge shout outs to those guys. But let's talk more about this map right here. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the arena version. There is also a King of the Hill version. Maybe you're wondering, why did I pick the arena version? Nobody plays arena. <laughs> well, this map was made with Arena in mind. It was balanced towards that game mode. So, after a bunch of demands by the community, the map creator finally decided she was going to make a King of the Hill version, but I prefer the Arena one because that's what it was made for. That's what it was balanced towards. So, I think it plays really well as an Arena map. It plays okay as a King of the Hill map, but it was really made for Arena, and I'm a, I'm a huge Arena fan. I'm a sucker for Arena. So, the more maps that we can get for Arena, the better. And if they look this great, that's a bonus. One thing I love about this map is you can get on the roofs. There's a lot of maps where they have roofs and they're just kind of, you know, for looks. But in this one, most of the roofs you can actually get on top of. And I love that sort of thing. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like, oh, I'm breaking the rules. I'm getting on the roof. Um, I don't know, but I really love being able to get up on roofs. Having that height advantage, I think, is a really cool way to play a map. Similar to King of the Hill. Harvest. I really love, I just love roof gameplay. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I just really love when maps let you get on top of the roofs, and this map does that, so I love this map. <laughs> oh, sunshine. Such a wonderful place. I remember going there as a young boy with my parents. Such fond memories. Climbing the lighthouses, playing at the beach. Much simpler times. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, yeah, this is CP Sunshine, a 5 CP map made by Fee. And it's actually already had a bit of attention from the competitive scene. It was played in Highlander Season 16 for UGC. And it's also been played in 6s since Season 15 in UGC. So it's already gotten quite a bit of attention. And for good reason, this is a great map. And one thing that you will notice about the two maps that I've already mentioned so far is they each have a very unique theme. That's something that I really enjoy in a map. Something that's different than anything else out there. So, Suijin was Japanese. This map is like a coastal area. And I really love the way it looks. I really love the way it plays. And it's just a great map overall. And if you look at the maps that Val has added from the community recently, you've got Process, Snake Water, Goalie Wash. And I know it's been a few years since those have been added. But those are all maps that are played pretty heavily and competitive. So I think CP Sunshine has a really good chance of getting into the game, especially with Valve coming out with matchmaking. So I definitely think that this map is one to look out for, something that we may see implemented into the game over the next year or so. And I really hope it does. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I really encourage you to go check this map out. Thumbs it up in the workshop, and hopefully we can get it in the game. Oh, Discovery. Such a wonderful place. I remember going there as a young boy with my parents. Such fond memories. I remember once my brother Gabriel jumped off the cliff. <laughs> oh, we laughed and we laughed. Uh, much simpler times. <laughs> okay, so this is the map Discovery. It's an arena map, so automatically I'm in love with it already. But uh, it actually does play really well. It's one of my favorite maps out of the ones that I've mentioned so far. And as you guys can see, it's a unique theme. Once again, it's not something that you see done in the TF2 world very often. And I think it just plays really well. It has a couple of health packs. It's got this big cliff on the side. I love maps with the cliff. I love small health packs in Arena. It's really great. And it's just, it's just a fun map to play on. So Egan is the creator of this map. He did a great job. He's been working on it for a long time. 
and I just, I really like this map. I don't know what it is I like about it, but everything just works really well together. And it actually has this really cool dynamic element where the, the cap point, the bridge in the middle that you're seeing right there, comes up when it's time to capture. And I think that's really cool. It, it shows the extra effort that Egan went through to really make this map something unique and different and special. On top of that, it has waterfalls. Who doesn't love waterfalls in a map? <laughs> I think they're really great. And that cliff again, it's just so awesome. So Egan did a great job here. I love this map. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. All right, so those are my top three favorite maps in the workshop right now. Honorable mention goes to this map right here, CB Glassworks by Crash. It is a 5 CP map, really great as well, so be sure you check it out also. Uh, links to all these maps, all the workshop pages, so you can like subscribe to those, download them, whatever, whatever you're supposed to do with the map workshop. All that stuff will be in the description, so please go check that out. Support these map makers and support Valve for finally putting this map workshop in the game. It's something that we as a mapping community have been wanting for a long, long time, so it's really great to finally see it implemented. But... That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Let me know what your favorite maps are that you've seen on the workshop so far in the comments below. I'd really, I'm really interested to see if you like any of these maps that I've chose, if there's some that I haven't seen yet. Just let me know. I'd really like to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good one, guys. Bye. This is Heavy Weapons Guy. Thank you for watching Grizzly Berry. Now click that little red button. Ha <laughs> ha!